You're watching a protected PCI.com video. This is Sean Chakrabarty, Medical Director at Abiumed. I'm here today with Mary Hanel. I have the pleasure today of speaking with her about her experience as an Impella patient and share with us her journey with coronary disease. Mary, can you tell us a little bit about your story? Absolutely. It started in 1984. I had chest pain and discomfort walking and they were attributing it to acid reflux or COPD because I was only 44. But after several months and then on Thanksgiving night, after working all week and running and baking and doing, I had an episode during the night and it was a heavy pressure on the chest and the left arm. So I knew I was in trouble when it hit the left arm. I had my husband take me into the hospital and they didn't think it was anything serious because of my age, but they kept me overnight and it hit again that night. So they said they would do a catheterization. When they did the catheterization, they were really shocked to find out left and right coronary arteries were almost 96% blocked. That's what was causing my discomfort. So I wound up in St. Vincent's Hospital in Manhattan and I had a double bypass, which is not fun. It's a lot of rehab and a lot of pain and a lot of fear. Wow. And, but I tried and I got better, but I never came all the way back. I exercised and I walked, but I always could never keep up with my husband. And we liked to travel. We retired in these years that passed. And I could not, we'd go to the park, so we would go to the beach and we'd take a long walk and it was just gorgeous, but I had to keep stopping. I was not comfortable. And this is even after your bypass This surgery. is after bypass. Got it. And then about, I guess it was three or four years ago, it got progressively worse. We were down in St. Augustine and we were walking through the town and it was 90 degrees out, but again, I had to keep stopping and it was a whole family outing. And the next day we were going to Universal and they threw me in a wheelchair at Universal so that I'd be able to walk and they were threatening to throw me into the shark tank. Long story, I came back, I called Dr. Barakat, who was my cardiologist at Hackensack, and they did a catheterization. And the catheterization showed a lot of blockage. And the doctor who did it, Dr. Imani, wanted to do bypass. And my cardiologist said no. I mean, I'm 82. Yep. And you've already had one bypass at this and point, right, And that was right, not Mary? a fun deal, and, and I came out of that okay, but no guarantees at my age. And I'm, I'm sure the doctor mentioned to you that redo bypass, much higher risk than the first Absolutely. Yep. I knew that. Yep. Anybody knows yep. that. Of course. Yep. They didn't have the Impella. Mm -hmm. And then he just changed my medication. I lost more weight because I was going to Weight Watchers, mm -hmm. and that helped a lot, but not fully. Still, we went to Alaska. I had such a hard time walking in Alaska. Mm -hmm. And then I woke up one night again, and it was the chest and the left arm. When it happened to the left arm again, I knew I was in trouble. Mm -hmm. I went back to him and they figured, well, they're gonna try to stint. They would have to, as they called it, Rotorouda first, yes. <laughs> plumbing. And after that, a stint. So I went in and the first day they went in through the wrist and they couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. And the next day he spoke to Dr. Raskin, who was the interventional cardiologist, spoke to my husband and my family and explained there's always a risk with your heart. There's always a risk whatever procedure they do. But my best chance was the Impella. I had never heard of the Impella before. Mm -hmm. So I went in, and 20 people had to be in that room with me. And four and a half hours, I was on the table. Wow. And during the procedure, he kept saying, you know, can you do this? Are you okay? Can you? And there was no way I was coming back. Mm -hmm. I said, no, keep going, keep yeah. going. Yeah. I went home the next day, and I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, I haven't felt this good in 30 to 40 years. Wow. I can keep up with him. He calls me the Energizer Bunny now. I can walk, I go to exercise three times a week, and it's amazing. I have so much gratitude towards the people who made this impeller. So Mary, that's a wonderful story, you know? So you already had bypass, and you presented with multivessel coronary disease. Right. And the options they gave you were redo bypass, which was much too high risk. Were there other options given to you, or were there operators that said they could do this without support nope. advice? He tried when he went in through the wrist. Yes. 
Yeah. And he couldn't move it, and he knew it was going to be a long procedure. And what I forgot to tell you was I went back to Dr. Barraquette yes. after the procedure for my checkup, and I said to him, he had to do more. That's why I had such an improvement that was so quick. Yep. And, you know, this is something we hear a lot, that being able to achieve complete revascularization, in this case, your circumflex and your, and your bypass graft, is really the key to giving you a durable result. Absolutely. And so, Mary, what sort of things could you not do before the procedure that you are able to do now? Long walks in the park. Yeah. Traveling. He goes shopping with me, and I'm running with the wagon, you know. And I love the outdoors. We live in the outdoors. I live yes. in the Pocono Mountains. Yep. Yeah. And I love being outside, and I love doing. My whole life has changed. My whole quality of life has changed. That's fantastic. I know you've told me you have three children. You have a host of grandchildren that you yep. got to keep up with for yep. a while. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fantastic, Mary. It's really a remarkable story. You had your first heart attack when you were 44. You had bypass surgery, including a sternotomy, but never achieved the quality of life improvement that you thought you would have from that procedure. And as your symptoms progressed, you sought further revascularization. And it sounds like the options you were given were either a very high-risk redo surgery at a, an older age with, with all the implications that come with that. And you had one operator that was, that was willing to do a high-risk PCI procedure with impella support. And via that procedure, you were able to get complete revascularization and be discharged from the hospital within a day, which is truly remarkable, and now have achieved that quality of life improvement and have returned to all the activities you've wanted to do. And so again, I wanna thank you so much for sharing that with us. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us. Again, this is Sean Chakrabarty with Mary Hanel. Thank you. You've been watching a protected PCI.com video.